been getting a few more comments here lately about people wanting to see some more shots of the H&R 357 barrel on my shotgun here. So figured I'd go ahead and do that for you. Uh, a little bit has changed since I um, got the barrel put on. If you remember last time it was just all wood. Uh, now it's just fully decorated in the uh, choked survivor stock. So uh, we'll be taking some shots out there at 50 yards. I am shooting with uh, just some Remington 130 grain. Um, you know, just target loads. So uh, let's see how it goes out there at 50 yards. And I just have a UTG red dot here. Uh, nothing fancy at all. It'd be nice to have a scope on here, but I'm still still trying to decide on what kind of scope I want to go with. Just want to go with like a just a fixed powered scope, maybe four by thirty-two or something like that. Something shockproof because this thing still kicks just a little bit even though it's a 30 38 or 357 most uh, 4 by 32 scopes are for rim fire so I'm gonna have to be careful with what I decide but this little red dot still pretty fun to use I'll show you the hits here in a second out at 50 yards it's still still doing its job Let's do one more. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so that's what I got out of 50 yards with the 38 Special. And uh, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six on target, holding for center the whole time. And uh, so now we're going to go ahead and shoot uh, 357. I believe it. This is uh, HPR. Not sure on the grain. I'll have to double check. I'll annotate it there. But uh, we'll take some more shots here with the 357 now. This guy's ruining my shot. Or is he? Alright, so 357 out at 50 yards. See, there's just a little bit more kick with the 357 over that 38 special. Just a little bit more. And I seem to have knocked my target just a little bit. Should be all right. So this is why I'm going to have to get a nice shockproof scope. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Again, I want to try to stay fixed powered. 4x32, somewhere around there. I squeeze that one off. Let's take one more shot. My grouping is going to be a little weird because my target just kind of fell over a little bit. But a 
That was a little different load. All right, let's see what I got. All right, you can see here, the first few shots hit right here, and then my target slid down like this. So all the rest of my shots were kind of messed up from where they're supposed to be at. So you can imagine they'd be somewhere up there. But uh, that's about the difference, 357, 38 special. The uh, 357's hitting a little bit uh, a little bit lower, looks, or yeah, it looks like a little bit lower. But that's what I got.